First this afternoon, as we enter day one in the first degree murder trial of Adam Fravel, defense lawyers are laying the groundwork to convince a Blue Earth County jury he didn't kill the mother of his children, Madeline Kingsbury. Opening statements in Mankato took place this morning. Fravel's team tried to plant doubt about their client's guilt, claiming Winona County law enforcement had, quote, tunnel vision as soon as Kingsbury was reported missing in late March of last year. Lawyers argue Fravel remained the only person of interest up until her body was found in June of 2023. On the other hand, the state's case centers around Fravel's alleged history of domestic violence against Kingsbury, as well as his proximity to where her body was eventually found on the morning of her disappearance. KIMD News 3's Brandon Code is joining us live from the Justice Center in Mankato. Brandon, we've had some idea of how the state plans to lay out its case against Fravel through both pre-trial hearings as well as the witness list. However, the defense's strategy has been a bit murky. What can you tell us? Well, Jess, the prosecution started off opening statements addressing the jury right after 9 a.m. this morning, but I'll get to their strategy of how they, what kind of evidence they're pitting against Fravel in just a second, but we are getting a clearer picture of the defense's strategy of how it plans to prove Fravel's innocence. Fravel's lawyers laid the foundation of the defense case, focusing on how Winona law enforcement agencies immediately casting suspicion on Fravel and not exploring alternative select suspects. His, Fravel, his lawyers say Fravel was tracked, followed, and constantly questioned by officers and deputies for nearly two months, despite minimal proof connecting him to her disappearance at the time. Now, this includes a lack of evidence at the former couple's home where investigators did not find signs of a struggle or any digital proof connecting him to the crime. On the other hand, the state began laying out its case by claiming Fravel's violent history of abuse against Kingsbury is proof he's capable of first-degree murder. The prosecution set up some of the witness testimony testimony jurors will later hear in court, including from one of the Kingsbury's friends who says the Winona mother was followed around by an emotional fravel on the night investigators believe she was killed. The witness claims after Kingsbury told Fravel she was leaving him, he responded by telling Kingsbury he would never allow her boyfriend at the time to raise the ex-couple's two children. Now, the, lay also, the state also laid out jurors we, what jurors can hear from, from witnesses describing and detailing the type of domestic abuse Kingsbury was experiencing. Now, I'll send it back to you, Jess. All right. Thank you, Brandon, for that wrap there of opening statements. Also, we do know Kingsbury's family are appearing as witnesses during the trial. If we are able to go back to Brandon there, we do know that means they're being sequestered and can't attend courtroom proceedings. So, Brandon, are Kingsbury supporters in the courtroom representing the family? And do we know if Frabel's family is attending the trial? Yeah, Jess, Kingsbury loved ones are definitely there. There's about eight or 10 of them just packing the back row in one of the sections inside the courtroom. So yeah, they're back there taking notes, listening listening attentively to what both sides are saying. Now, for Fravel's family, I met his parents and sister during their pre-trial hearings a while back. So I do know what they look like and no, they are not here today. I'm not sure if extended family is present here today because I know there were about six to eight community members who did come out for this, but immediate family, no. Okay, thank you so much, Brandon. Live again in Mankato. Yeah. Coming up on KIMT News 3 at 5, we are going to check back in with Brandon and have an update as well as more information about what was said during opening statements.